fantastic to meet you. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We're, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Hello. Hello. So everybody knows Judy Garland, but yeah. they might not know what to expect with this film. What can they expect from Judy? Uh, well, you know, seeing Renee sing half a dozen songs live. I mean, seeing, I think, one of the great performances of the year. And obviously the story of Judy Garland in the last, you know, six weeks of her performing life in London. So it's a life in six weeks of probably the world's greatest entertainer. That's what they can expect. Not too much. <laughs> and Renee Zellweger's performance, rather awards-worthy, you might say, she seems to really become Judy. So what was it like having her at the centre of this film? And what was the process of her like doing the research and becoming this character? Uh, well, there's a, you know, there's a, there's a physicality. So she, she looked at all of the Judy Garland show, which is a great show. You can still see it online. She did the most incredible research. So the physicality, obviously we did... You know, the eyes, she's wearing contact lenses, prosthetics, wig, and all of those things. But it's really about the way she carries herself. I'm very worried about you. The way she carries herself in that she's got a physicality with a hunch over her that, uh, that's just incredible. But she had singing coaches. She learned um, the dialect. She had dialect coach here and in, the, um, and in the US. I mean, like, exhaustive. Anything you can think of, she did. And the film focuses on sort of the, the later part of her life rather than, let's say, her heyday. So some of it's her amazing triumphs, but also some moments hard to watch. So what was the decision behind focusing on that part of her life? And, and, and what do you think that says to the audience? Well, I saw a play called The End of the Rainbow that played in London and played on Broadway. And that was the decision that, you know, it, that was sort of what the play represented. Truth was, it was a three-hander. And so we decided, well, how do we broaden this out into a movie? We saw, uh, we met a woman called Rosalind Wilder, who's portrayed in the film by Jessie Buckley, uh, who will be here tonight. You may get a chance to see her. Uh, she was really there. She was in her early 20s. She was alongside Judy for the whole trip. And she gave us all of this detail that we would never otherwise have had. She gave us a recording, and not many people know this, she gave us a recording of Judy singing at the talk of the town that, like, nobody's ever heard. It exists on a reel-to-reel -reel tape. I have it. It's not in my house in case anyone's planning a break-in. Uh, it is just like, you know, like, we've just got so much from it. We spoke to people. There's a lady in South Africa that was her dresser that hasn't spoken to anybody about Judy for 40 years. So, you know, the research was exhaustive. Yeah. And, you know, it does show, like, how the impact of Hollywood on people at that time, particularly on women, do you think that things have changed? Or, and do you think that it has something to say to our present era? I think it's changing. I think it's true to say, if you look at that Amy Winehouse documentary, you kind of go, well... And also, the truth is, any young stars get pushed into situations, they become a business. You know, that's unfortunately the truth of it. Things are better than they used to be, but it's still absolutely relevant. You know, still people are kind of like having uppers and downers and they become a commodity for people and uh, yeah it's not it's not great it does have a comment on what's still existing today but it's not you know I suppose the odd thing the di dilemma is it, it also created these amazing movies back in the day so that's not a good enough reason by the way but you know that was the product of it. Liza Minnelli has not been super forthcoming with support for the film has that been an issue or is that just something that goes along with making a film about a real person who existed. Um, well, to be honest with you, Liza was doorstepped by somebody, a, a, a journalist, who said, I hear you've been spending lots of time with Renee Zellweger. Well, categorically not the case, categorically not something that Renee said or anybody said. You know, like, that's, it's absolutely not, not you know, it's not true. Uh, so we very much wanted to make sure that, that the family were involved. We sent them the script in the first instance. I think, to be honest with you, they've been pretty good about just sitting still and waiting to see what happens. So I'm, I'm you know, as I said to somebody the other day, if you asked myself and my sister to make a movie about our mother, we'd make very different movies. So, you know, hopefully we've made something that absolutely honours Judy. That's what we intended to do. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time and congratulations on the film. Thanks so much.